Welcome to the SNAP programming tutorial number one. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get to a website uh, created by UC Berkeley called SNAP. Create an account so that you can write and save programs there. I'm going to give you an overview of the programming environment and then also show you how to create your first program. All right, let's get started. In your web browser, uh, go ahead and type in the following address. It's SNAP, S-N-A-P, dot Berkeley, B-E-R-K-E-L-E-Y, dot E-D-U, slash I-N-I-T. And this is developed at the University of California, Berkeley. Uh, it's a uh, programming environment that's intended to be something that you can learn quickly and learn the basics of writing programs. Uh, okay, so here we are. This is what uh, this is what it looks like. I'm going to give you an overview of the environment here. On the left-hand side, this is called the palette, and in the palette, you'll see there are a bunch of different commands or command blocks. Uh, next to that, next to the palette, is what's called the scripting area. And basically, the way that you're going to be writing your program is by grabbing blocks from the palette, dragging them over to the scripting area, and since they are uh, blocks, they're intended to look like Lego pieces that snap together. And so uh, you can just grab these blocks, move them over, snap together, and this creates a series of commands, which is called a script. So in this case, uh, this would be telling an object to move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees, turn another 15 degrees. All right, uh, the blocks that we were grabbing at first were from the motion uh, section of that palette. There are other uh, sections. You can click on looks, sound, pen, control, sensing, operations, and variables. And I'll be going through some of the specifics of these uh, in this tutorial, but mostly in our upcoming tutorials. All right, one other just quick thing about the scripting area. If you don't want the script that you've, write, if you've written or you want to get rid of part of it, you can drag it back into the palette and it'll go away. That's a way of deleting it. All right, over on the far right, on the top right, you'll see uh, the area that you see there is called the stage. Uh, this is going to visually display uh, whatever you are telling your program to do. Um, the object here is, uh, this is actually, this arrow is called a turtle. I don't know why it's called a turtle, but that's the, the name that uh, the, the people that wrote this language uh, gave it. And uh, the turtle itself, or the image itself, and the script that you write are connected together, and those things together are called a sprite. Um, so this is the stage, this, is, this object itself with the code that's controlling it is called a sprite, and you can have multiple objects on one stage. So you can write multiple scripts, multiple lines of code, each that, that controls the different objects, um, or that controls them in a way where they're kind of moving together or uh, relating to each other. Um, and that's all happening on the stage. And the very, the very bottom right here, this is called the sprite control. Uh, there are buttons here where you can add new sprites, uh, which will create another object that can move around the screen. Um, there's also ways of, of drawing images yourself or uh, importing images uh, so that it doesn't look like, like an arrow, it can look like something else. Uh, we'll get to that also in, in future tutorials. Okay, so with that said, let's actually create our first program that's actually going to do something. Uh, it's not going to be terribly exciting, but we'll get started. Um, so we're going to click on the control button on the top left here, and we need some way of having our program actually start. So I'm going to grab this yellow block that says when fl green flag clicked, I'm going to drag it in, and this is what's called a hat block in uh, this programming environment. It's a way of starting. There's a few other ones. There's we could have also grabbed the one when spacebar or space key is pressed or when I am clicked. Um, there's other ways of getting started, but this is a very common one. All right, so when that clicked, and then I'm going to grab uh, some of the motion blocks. I'm going to grab one that says move 10 steps. Uh, I'm going to have another move 10 steps and have a turn 15 degrees, move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees. Just making kind of a line of code here. Okay, so this together, all these objects, or all these commands together are an example of a script. And then to make them actually happen, uh, you can actually click on the top of this hat block, um, but uh, like that works, but the green flag is what's intended to be clicked. And actually, if I, if I click on this expand button, uh, you can see that the stage zoomed in 
And in this case, I can't see the script behind this. I can just click on the green flag. So let's see what this does. I'll click on the green flag. Oh, now that happened all really quickly. Uh, so let's let's go back. I'm actually going to put some pauses in here so that we can see uh, some of the intermediate steps. So I'm going to go back to control. I'm going to grab and move a make a space for this. And one of the control blocks is wait one second. I'm going to put that back together. So it's going to move ten steps. Wait one second. Move ten steps. Where is the wait? Here you go. Wait one second. Turn fifteen degrees. Wait one second. Move ten steps. Wait one second. And also, just something to note: uh, the move ten steps button. I can click on uh, that oval, the white oval, and then I can make it move thirty steps here. I could make it wait two seconds if I wanted. I could make it turn, you know, ninety degrees. Uh, so, so the the white ovals are things that you can type values into. And later, you can also drag uh, what are called variables into those blocks that are, uh, it's a placeholder for a value that might change throughout your program. Okay, so uh, that's that. Let's see how this program works. I could expand it and watch it again on the stage, uh, but instead I'm just going to hit the green button from here and we'll see how it goes. So here we go. Is the moving forward, moving forward, turning, moving forward, turning. There we go. All right, so not much happened in this program, uh, but you got to see the overall programming environment, all of the different parts. Uh, the last thing that I'd like you to, sh to do is to show you how to save your program. And actually, we, to do that, we need to create an account. So uh, go ahead and click on the Cloud button on the top left, and you're going to click Sign Up. Uh, and then to do this, you're going to enter in a username, so you have to think of something uh, my username, for example, is just my first and last name. Uh, birth date, uh, asks you just for the month, actually, the year that you're born, and an email address. And actually, for this to work, uh, you need to be able to check your email address. Uh, they're going to give you your uh, first password, uh, and you can enter it back in. So I'm not going to show you all those steps, um, but let's say that you did that. You would get, uh, you then get an email sent to your email address. Um, and then you can come back and click log in. So let's say you've already gone through those steps. You're going to type in your username again. Mine is Matthew Randall. Type in your password. And actually, I forgot mine. I have to pull up my email real quick. Uh, here we go. Uh, there we go. And you have the option, if you want, of it to save your password on this computer. I'm going to do this from now on. Okay. All right. It says now connected. So uh, I now can save this file if I'd like. Uh, to do that, I'm going to go back up. Sorry, not to the cloud, to the uh, button that looks like a document. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to give this a, fi uh, a file name. I'm going to call it First Project. And this is going to be saved to the cloud, so it's saved, it's saved on this particular website, which I think is the easiest thing to do. All right, click Save. Uh, there we go. All right, thanks for watching the first SNAP programming tutorial, and go ahead and check the uh, YouTube page for more of them.